All right, guys, this is part two of the Spotify picture frame tutorial where I now have my information for my picture frame, which is my uh, date that they got married, the song that they um, got married on or got married to, the artist, as well as the little player, the length of the song, and then I have the Spotify code on here. So at this point, you're going to need that, that you've cut out on your cutting machine with your vinyl. You're going to also need your image. So here's my image. And it's uh, actually cut out on sticker paper. And I actually had to just go to PowerPoint to print this out because it never did print out in Cricut Design Space. So I'll call them tomorrow. Um, to figure out what's going on. I think I know what it is because I saw something briefly, but it wasn't impacting me at the time and I just kept going. So I'll figure it out. But anyway, there's the image of my best friend Kendra and her husband that got married on July 26th of last year. And yeah, and so, and I bought the wrong type of picture frame. I figured that out the hard way. But I'm going to go ahead and put it on this glass, and then I'm going to get one of those little stands that you can sit it inside so that it'll fit, you know, like that, okay? But you want to make sure you get the right one. I bought a document picture frame. <laughs> Dumb. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead, and I did uh, wipe my picture frame down with some alcohol so that I could remove my fingerprints, and plus it's going to help you when you get ready to apply the vinyl for it to stick better and the more i thought about this you could reverse the the bottom part here and then put it on the back so that that you know they wouldn't be able to touch the vinyl totally up to you but it's something to think about so i'm going to place my first and i want to get my image put that down like that I'm going to get my image like right about top center um, of my glass so that I could then let me move it back here so that I would then have my room to put all of my additional information here and still have a nice bit of space. OK, because that's what's going to make it really pop. I have my weeder tool to help me with my weeding process. I'm going to be using my brayer and I'm going to be using my spatula and I'm not in the kitchen. Okay. So let me put the top back on the alcohol because I've been having some times today and next thing I know this alcohol is going to be all on everything. Okay. We don't want that. Okay. So the first thing is I'm using um, sticker paper. So this sticker paper I'm using um, is Astro Light or something like that. I can't remember, but it has where you can just peel the backing off and it makes it really easy for you, as you can see here. And so we're just going to pop that off. And then that's sticky. So we want to make sure we get this dead on because we don't want to have to keep sticking it. So, pardon me, let me stand up. So I can try to get it dead on in the center. I'm one of those visual people guys, so I'm kind of weird. Okay, that looks good. So now I have the picture. You can use printable. You can use printable vinyl. You can use um, sticker paper, like I've done. Um, the next part I'm going to do is using my weeder to weed away the excess. So then I'm just left with my words and everything. Um, so. 
that's what I'm going to be doing here. And I'll pull it up just a little bit so you can kind of see here, but I do need to be able to focus on pulling this off because I do have some areas that are like really small that I want to make sure I do not mess up. And that's the only thing about this particular project is just like some of the information being or some of the fonts being very finicky because they're so small. And uh, so I really need to be focused on seeing what is taking place here. Okay, so that's the first one right there. And for me, I like to cut away the um, excess vinyl in sections so that I don't have to worry about um, one area being really coming off well and then impacting my other areas. And these scissors are horrible. I don't know what made me grab these. I normally have my Cricut scissors right here by me, but those are trash. Like I need to be some trash. I, <laughs> I shouldn't have all these scissors no more. I don't even know. Now the, see how that vinyl just gets stuck all over everything. Yeah, don't be like me when you grow up, okay? All right, so I'm going to continue to weed. So I have taken away, hopefully you guys can see that, I have taken away the vinyl that's going around the Spotify code. And so now I've taken most of the vinyl away, the excess vinyl away from the date that they got married. And now I got my heart and my player portions because I already know the part that's going to give me the most trouble is the little name area so I'm coming from the bottom side now instead of the top alrighty and I already see that my four is like ain't happening captain so I might have to go in and do that part on my own. Oh, please don't. Please don't. All right. All right, so I did pull up some of my letters and that's okay. I'm one of those people that I like a challenge. <laughs> Y'all may not know that about me and then you may. All right, so there are some areas that I'm going to have to go back and um, put on myself, and I'm totally okay with that. Hopefully, you'll have better luck. Um, but yeah, I got them right here, so I'll be fine. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the inside down here for the player. Okay. So I got that part, and now all I got to do is my Spotify code. And you definitely want to be careful when you do the Spotify code, guys. And that's because if you lose parts of your Spotify code, then when they scan it, it's not going to work. Okay. So, first and foremost, let me put that out there. You got to make sure you get this part right. No half step in on the Spotify code. And mine is already tripping on one little piece. Just one little piece so far. All right, so I got one little piece right here that did not want to play alone. So I'm going to have to pull that up on my own, put it into position.
Uh -huh. All right. <clears throat> so I got it all off except for, see if you can see that one little dot. <laughs> and that one little dot will stop your Spotify code from working. So I'm going to put it where I know I'm going to go back to it. And hopefully it don't pop off and fly somewhere. You know, when you're doing a video, nothing ever works right. I'm used to it now. All right, so now I am going to take and put my um, transfer tape on top of this. I really got to get, I think I have some WD-40. I'm going to do this chair tonight. Oh, God, I got to use these things again. All right, so I'm going to cut a piece of the Cricut transfer tape and try to get it about the size of my vinyl info here. And so at this point, I am going to remove this uh, backing from the clear piece. And I have to go from the back because when I try to start from the front, it never works. Like freaking brand transfer tape sucks, but I'm trying to use up the last of what I have. And hopefully to never buy it again. All right, there we go. So this is the transfer tape, guys, that you see at Hobby Bobby's, Michael's, Joann's, Walmart, and all those good places. And you're going to lay it down right on top of your vinyl and just make sure you got everything and this is where I'm going to use my brayer and I'm gonna have to take this off of my computer because if I don't what will happen is it will stop my video because this is my touchpad it's very sensitive all right so I'm just using my brayer, as you can see here, to get the vinyl off and onto my transfer tape. And this is just to help with that process. And I kind of go from front to back because I really want it all to come off in one swoop. And, oh God, this chair needs some WD-40. I think I got some. It's going to be first line of business as soon as I finish this live. If I don't break down and do it before because I'm tired of hearing it squeaking. All right, so I am now going to attempt to see if it has moved. You know, this Cricut brand transfer tape can be... I'm not even going to talk about it because then it's going to act a fool. All right. So let's see what we got. So far, so good. Main thing is making sure that Spotify code is spot on. All right. So you can see I have some areas that I'm going to have to pull from this little area over here like in the name where the Eric Benet and a part of the uh, real love so that's going to be an easy fix so now you're going to take this and place it on your glass or on your frame and you kind of want to get it centered with your frame so I'm not going to talk for a second because I need to oh shoot <laughs> I forgot one thing, guys. One thing, when you know it. <laughs> I forgot to take my circle part off. I'm going to have to do it after I finish. Shoot. All right. So, hopefully I'll still be able to get it off. That looks good. All right, so we're almost there. Got some areas that I'm gonna have to clean up, but 
that's that's who I am, cleanup queen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can, let me see if this is a pause. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to get this cleaned up and then I'm going to come back. Okay. All right, guys. I took a moment off so that I could um, weed without having you guys on the call or not call, but on the video just waiting while I did that. But you can see it turned out really pretty. The only thing is the, oh, and the other thing, I said initially that I bought the wrong type of frame, but I really like it. I like that black background. I like that. So I'm going to keep it. At first, I was like, no, I just want it to be clear, but I like that black background because it makes the white pop and the picture pop. And I lost my time, the 4.17. <laughs> I lost it. I wasn't going to keep playing with it, but I love how it turned out. And it works. That's the main thing before you gift this to somebody um, or what have you. You want to make sure that when you scan it, that it truly does work. So I'm going to go to Spotify here. And on my phone. And what you want to do is you want to click on the search. <clears throat> when you go to the, your phone, you're going to click on search. And you're going to click in the little field where the search field is. And then click on the um, camera, the little camera. And then once you do that, you're going to aim your phone at the code on your frame. So I just aimed it. It picked it up. There it is, Real Love by Eric Bonet. So that's the main thing is to make sure your code works, guys. Um, one of my little dots, you remember, had came off, but I got it in the right place. So I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. And I love it. And I'm not going to change anything um, that I can think of right now. I like it. Okay. All right. So that's the main thing, guys. Um, get you an image, please. Copyright infringement. Don't get sued making these things and selling them with the original artist pictures and all that kind of stuff. You don't have permission to do that. Or, you know, maybe you got big money and you do have permission. But uh, if you're a little man on the totem pole like me, I don't have permission to do that. And, uh, so I want to make sure that um, you guys stay safe, okay, and not get sued. And uh, then this is printable, excuse me, this is sticker paper. And then this is just all vinyl, okay, all vinyl. And you attach this bottom half. You're going to attach this bottom half and then cut it out on whatever color vinyl you want to use. Once you get that cut out, you want to use your transfer tape and then apply it after you get it on the transfer tape, apply it here. And you wanna make sure that you're using alcohol. I still have some fingerprints that I'm gonna have to go in and fine tune, but yeah, guys, that's it. And I got the frame at Walmart. It was called a document frame, but I love it because I like that black and it has a little stand. Um, hold on one second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always trying to keep my shirt down because you know I got that soul sister that it just don't want to stay hidden but it has a little um backing that you can put on it I got to figure out how to put it on here and then it'll actually hold my picture frame you know it'll hold the picture frame up um so they'll be able to either hang it on the wall or they'll be able to you know, sitting on a uh, coffee table or something. But anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. If you have any questions, concerns, comments about how to do this, guys, please let me know. Um, I really wanted to get this video done. And you guys saw the Facebook Live was a total disaster because of Cricut Design Space not working and making me think I had lost my mind. But you have part one of the Spotify picture frame tutorial in the group. And this is part two. All right. So... 
when you do them, guys, post them in the group. I don't want to be the only one posting stuff, guys. Please, please post your work. If you think it's bad, you know, let us critique it and give you feedback on how you can get better. That's the purpose of the group. And it may be bad to you because we're our own worst critic, you know, critics. So we criticize ourselves much harder than somebody else would. It may be really, really great, but we'll never know because you won't post it in the group. So don't be afraid to post it, you know, put your logo or something on it so no one can steal your work. Um, but that's the purpose of the group is so we can all share and learn from one another. All right. All right, guys, that's my story. Again, this is the Spotify picture frame. Uh, and if you are not in my Facebook group, it is Candoris's Cricket and Creative Crafters. If that is not a tongue twister. I don't know what I was thinking when I came up. <laughs> Sorry. But anyway, if you're not a member of my group, please join us. Lots of tutorials. Uh, we do our best to help you learn how to use your cutting machine, among other crafts. So it's not just all about the Cricut cutting machine. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry. That was another spirit that came out of the sky um, that just said that. But anyway, guys, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. It's late. I got to go to bed because I got work to do in the morning. Um, as always, each one, reach one so that each one can teach one. And I truly mean that from the bottom of my heart. All right. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much for being a part of the group. And for those that are not, please join us. Have a great day. Bye.